Good morning, everyone. Welcome to this edition of Talk Training Web Series. Today, I'll be explaining the difference between global administrator as well as the service or SharePoint administrator. So what are those things? Like, so I'm going to explain what are these and basically, you know, how, how you can take advantage of them. So this is for the users who have who's accountable for the SharePoint internal portal projects or the SharePoint itself, right? Basically, who's maintaining the SharePoint content and other features, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to show you ways how to go go about this. So first thing, you need to go to launch button, right? The Office 360 launch button and go to admin. And then here you get into SharePoint admin center. So I click on SharePoint and then you get into the space, right? Now, basically what you're gonna do is you can select the site which you wanna see that who's the owners basically. So what you can do is just select on one of the site collection, select the owners and click on manage administrators, right? And then here you have two fields that it says a primary site collection administrator and site collection administrators, right? So where, you know, the primary site collection administrator has the specific administrator uh, privilege for this site collection and only one user login can be provided and security groups are not supported. Whereas for site collection administrators, they have given all full control over the websites and the site collection and you can also receive site use confirmation email. So, you know, users can be separated by semicolon. So you can basically add in different users, right? So that's it. So uh, what is a global administrator, right? Um, so let's go back to the Office or my Microsoft 365 Admin Center. Just select on the active users and let's go ahead and click on one of the users here, right? Now I'm just gonna go to roles and then I have global administrator, right? Now, the global administrators have access to all the properties and functionalities of Office 365, right? From the SharePoint, Exchange, Planner, Teams, Yammer, etc. So uh, they are basically having the full control of the Office 365 tenant, right? Now, the, the SharePoint administrator is nothing but if you go to Customized Administrator, you can go scroll down a bit and then you have an area where you can select the SharePoint administrator. Now, in this case, the user will have only access to the SharePoint sites that's been created in the Office 365. Now, basically this user can mess around with any other properties like Exchange or Azure, Active Directory, etc. So basically when, you know, like partners like us, you know, when we take up, when we start working with a client for implemented doc in Toronto Portal, they don't give us the global admin uh, credentials Basically, so what they do is they give us a SharePoint administrator credential so that you know you can support them with the SharePoint requirements, right? End of the day, you know, I don't want to mess up with their exchange or their Office 365 properties. So that's the, that's the key, right? Now, so um, what are you going to do next is now let's say what group you should be assigning to a site collection. So what you can do is basically add a um, administrator domain group and adding a SharePoint service administrator domain group and you can also add named resources like for example you can just add in the users to the specific users right all right so that's about that and uh, how do you basically check um, you know, from the SharePoint administrator, you won't know who's got the access or who has the privileges. The same thing, you know, you can just click on manage administrators and you can find out who, which users have the privilege uh, for this site collection, who's got the control over the site collection, basically. So that's about that. And um, how do I check? There's another way to do that. There's an option too where you can check it from the site collection itself, right? So what I need to do is go to the site collection and then click on site settings and then scroll down to site collection administrators, right? So I click on that. You'll be able to see the names of the domain groups like, you know, it's going to show up over here. So now I have the user that's been added over here, right? Now they'll have 
con complete control over the websites and the site collection. The same thing what we had in the Office 365 or the SharePoint admin uh, area where you can manage the site collection administrators. So an easy way to manage your administration roles. So I hope you got the difference like the global administrator, the SharePoint administrator. It's very easy to set up and I hope you uh, enjoyed watching this video and uh, I'll be coming out with more and more features soon and so stay tuned and have a great weekend. Thank you.